Ladies and gentlemen, I am humbled by your invitation to join you by Zoom. Unfortunately, due to COVID, I cannot address you in person. My name is Sylvia Foti, the granddaughter of Jonas Nareka. I am speaking to you from my home in Chicago, wishing that I could be with you in your magnificent, beautiful, and holy sanctuary, Synagogue Nije Israel in Mexico City. I am honored to speak with you today regarding the release of my book, The Nazi's Granddaughter. In Mexico, it has just been released as Mi Abuelo, El General Storm, Héroe de Guerra o Criminal Nazi. When I first learned that Nietzsche Israel is a replica of the synagogue of the village of Shaolé in Lithuania, it struck me on an extremely personal note since I am familiar with the history of the original synagogue. Reflecting on the ties between the two synagogues in space and time has become of paramount importance to me. You see, my grandfather likely stood facing your families in the original of the synagogue in Shaolé. Now I, his granddaughter, stand facing the descendants in the replica of the original in Mexico City. I would like to address the history of the synagogue. Nije Israel was consecrated in 1941 by Jewish immigrants from Shaolé. The prototype for Nije Israel was destroyed in that very same year, 1941. The Jews of Shaolé, who had not immigrated to Mexico or elsewhere, were murdered in that same year, 1941. Those were your families. A long-standing community of Jews and their holy spaces annihilated in the very same year this synagogue was dedicated, 80 years ago. Their children, the very future of the Jewish people were murdered alongside their parents grandparents and families. Why did this happen? Who allowed it? Who carried out the murders? The woman I thought I was prior to beginning my research for this book no longer exists. The woman I have become after having diligently conducted my investigation are two dramatically different women. I started out as the granddaughter of a Lithuanian hero Today, I am the granddaughter of a Lithuanian monster. Let me reconcile for you how that is possible. Let us go back to the beginning. Hatred toward Jews became a feature of Lithuanian society in the 1930s. My grandfather was at the forefront of that movement. He wrote Lithuania's equivalent of Hitler's Mein Kampf. During the Holocaust, my grandfather was in charge of the second largest region in Lithuania, and therefore, 
He was responsible for the persecution and murder of Jews under his dominion and the plunder of their property. He may or may not have participated in the direct physical murders of your families and other Jews. He may or may not have personally destroyed the original of the synagogue. He may or may not have been directly responsible for the destruction of many other synagogues. But during that period, he was in command and those atrocities were under his watch. Those atrocities were his responsibility. The government of Lithuania is engaged in Holocaust denial and revisionism and currently heralds him as a national hero. He enjoys mythological status within Lithuania. An intricate web of lies has been written about him while totally negating his horrendous deeds. His Jewish victims have been dismissed by Lithuania as an inconvenient tragedy to be explained away. What the government of Lithuania has done regarding my own grandfather is one of the greatest criminal cover-ups in all of history. As a young girl, I believed my grandfather was one of the most splendid heroes of all time. As an adolescent, I was proud to be connected to his glorious name. Then as an adult, the unspeakable truth was revealed to me. I only then realized that the mission of my research had to change. As a practicing Catholic, I simply had to do the right thing. It is incumbent upon me to correct history. My greatest hope is that this book will light the flame of truth for Lithuania to recognize the terrible history of the Shoah as it unfolded in 1941. Once that is truly recognized, and it will take time, it will allow the crucial healing process to begin for all Lithuanians. True reconciliation between Lithuanians and Jews can only be based on truth. Now, in 2021, 80 years, after my grandfather enabled the destruction of the original of the synagogue, I stand before you. I acknowledge the culpability of my family in the murder and destruction of yours. My grandfather will remain to me a monster. Those watching are the families of his victims. I know that forgiving is impossible. Only the murdered may forgive, and they are not here to do that. So, I ask you to accept my genuine, personal apology. I am sorry for the sins of my grandfather, and I am sorry for what the Lithuanian government continues to do. I know that I personally am not responsible for my family and national guilt. Nonetheless, I face you with humiliation guilt, remorse, and overwhelming sadness. I promise you, I will do everything I can to make certain that the truth about my grandfather will be the only story of his life. The little girl who never met her grandfather but was raised to idolize him is now grown up and willing to tell the truth. I implore the Lithuanian government to do the same. The cover-up and rewriting of history must be brought to an end now. My mission will continue to be to speak the truth about this time in history to bring awareness and education and through this to help us walk toward healing 80 years later. Muchas gracias.